Okay. Let me make sure everything is working as it should. Now just find Saravok and kill him. They were invisible, now they're dead. Just checking, making sure her weapon didn't break. Minsky Pererate. Right. <coughs> well, well, I thought it would be you. Quite the little family reunion shaping up now, isn't it? Follow, you two are of the same blood. You must take the fight to him lest he strike you down at his leisure. Not that it will matter. You have already beaten him. His plans are in ruin and his allies are fleeing in droves. So it's glory's goals they were. Though none understood the true desire behind them. None but me, that is. Unfortunately, I am now expendable. But I expected no less. What was your role in this? Why did you help him if you knew you were to be cast aside? What was my role? I was Saravok's me mentor and tutored him in the blackest of rituals. If he had succeeded, there is no doubt I would be among the dead, but my name would have lived on in his wake. Things beyond death if you die in the right fashion. And how could there not be a place in history for the architect that shaped the actions of the ascended lord of murder? You would not understand. You were born to affect the realms. The rest of us must carve our own path by whatever means necessary. Ascendin, what was he planning? The war with Arm makes no sense. You must know his plan by now. You have practically followed. You have practically followed his every move. Likely, you were the same desires as well, though you have channeled them in a different fashion. No, war with Arm was not his true goal. Saravok is no profiteer. The slaughter was all he wanted. Lives with enough lives lost in the initial battles to ignite the fire in his own divine blood. He thought death on the appropriate scale would cause him to ascend. Perhaps he would have, but who can really say? If you have the arrogance of a god and can kill like a god, who's to say you are not a god? His plans are in shambles. You will live to be accountable for your part in this. Your charity is admirable. You have definitely taken a separate path than Saravok, though I wonder if I, it shall truly matter in the end. Leave me. I am no longer a threat to you or anyone. I am just going to rest here a while. Uh. 
That screams Lord of Murder. A rather strange place to meet living members of the Sunless Realms. I'm curious as to why you are here. Could I rightly assume that you have come you have something in common with the man Saravak Anchan? Before we say anything more, would you be willing to tell us who you are? I am Ravin. My friends and I are mercenaries and the employee of the Iron Throne. We've been sent to hunt down Saravak. It seems as if he went crazy and started murdering all who got in his way, including Railtar. And the throne don't take too well to having their higher ups killed. You know, y you know, the longer I talk to you, the more familiar you become. You're Ignis, aren't you? Well, 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 it seems as if we've gotten lucky. Killing you will give us a nice, hefty bonus. Sorry about this, but you're not wanted, dead or alive. Only dead. Story of my life. Yeah, Lucy. Well, it's close enough to home, I suppose.
Now the skeleton is, is dead. Hi, Pyro. Uh-huh. Make it quick. So, I appear to be near the Undercity. Come to Baloth. Yeah, these guys were from the Iron Throne, sent to kill Saravok, figured out who I was, decided, oh, we'll kill you too. Friendly, uh, the skeletons that were made friendly are fighting each other.
party before venturing forth. This brutish brawler we're about to beat had better be the finale to this little escapade. We need to focus on getting me home already. <laughs> So, I think I found, uh, the temple. I mean, this could, I mean, this could... This could easily be the temple of, uh, hell, for all we know. Hell, it could be Wolf's temple. You are indeed family. By what right do you claim ownership of the Zuera? What if I intend to take it from you? Face me! Face the new Lord of Murder! You would take my destiny? It is truly divine arrogance you display! You have not the skill or knowledge to steal this future. It was years in the making while you sat cloistered in a foolish library! Simple wars spill countless waves of blood and no godly wrath is raised. It is but my will that will take that will shape the screams of the dying into the power I seek. You could no more assume my role than I could back away from it. It is fitting though that you should try in an ample testament to our bloodline. Face me! Face the new Lord of Murder! Angelo! Teza! Revel! Reveal yourselves and let's finish this now! Yes, revel yourselves.
I swear, I didn't do it. I swear, he just crumbled on his own. Wait, that was a statue. I guess that was it for the base game. Because there's still... Um, Seeds of Dragon Spire, I believe it's called. Hang on, let me check. Oh sweet! Look, they're uh, establishing. They, those guys are establishing dominance. Okay, here it is. Baldur's Gate: Seeds of Dragon Spear. Okay, okay. I need to play Dragons uh, Seeds of Dragon Spear because it takes place between uh, ba uh, one, Baldur's Gate one and two. That sound good? That we start. That we continue this stream, but go into, uh, um, will we go into Siege of Dragon Spear? That okay with you, uh, Pyro? Weeks ago, the malevolent Saravak brought the city of Baldur's Gate to the edge of destruction. You, like him, are a child of Baal, the dead god of murder. Baal foresaw his own death and sired mortal children in an effort to bring about his return. 
Seraphok intended to become the new Lord of Murder. You put an end to Seraphok's plans and slew your half-brother. With his passing, you became known as the hero of Baldur's Gate. Now, a new threat casts a shadow over the city. A massive army on a holy crusade has thrown the Sword Coast into turmoil. Little is known of the crusade's leader, the charismatic warrior Kalar Argent. Those who follow her revere her as the Shining Lady, but her background and goals are shrouded in mystery. Some say she is divine, a hero sent by the gods to crush evil no matter the cost. Others whisper that she is another spawn of Baal, intent on following the same path as Saravok. One thing above all else is clear. If the Sword Coast is to find any measure of peace, Kalar Argent must be stopped. Oh! 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 Sarawak's dead. Everything's a mess. We should have gotten out of the city days ago. No chance of that now. But Corlash knows what she's doing and... Hey, did you hear that? We'd better tell the boss. Come on. I... I wasn't expecting this. Ugh. Smells like moldy bones down here. Well, here we are in a creepy old tomb again. The last of Saravok's followers are down here. According to the Flaming Fist, all you gotta do is find their leader and bring her to justice. I'd have to use the time of it if you came with me, Emily. I really want to. I wouldn't be much help, though. Ever since I asked Duke Janath to teach me how to sling spells, She's had me cooped up in the stuffy old library, studying boring books about the Weave. She only let me come down here after I promised to bring her any arcane scrolls or tomes I could find. That's unfortunate, but it's probably best to do as Duke Janath says. Tell me what we know of those we hunt. They're mostly mercenaries, led by a wizard named Korlaz. This is her family's tomb. She aided Saravok, and the Grand Dukes want her dead or alive. We'd better be careful. We? Will you be joining me? Want to, but won't. My head's so muddled with spells right now, I can barely get my boots on. I'd only cause problems for you down here. I'll follow behind you with these flaming fists. If you need help with anything, just ask and I'll do what I can. There's a healer here too. Talk to her if you need any bandaging. She also knows all about fighting undead. Timora shine on you. Not that you'll need it. I, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting it to just throw me right into Seeds of Dragon Sphere. That is so cool. Of course. You're too late. It's already gone. What are you talking about? Aren't you here for his sword? I thought... Tell me more about the sword. Why would I want it and where is it now? I've said too much. All you need now is that not for death awaits you here. Turn back now where you still can. Parios, gather all of your equipment, supply room. We depart in two days. Since we put Saravok's sword on the ship to 
at Katla, a suspiciously high number of people have become aware of this location. We must, we must move quickly before the Flaming Fist arrives. If Fortune smiles upon us, we'll be in Zasipur within the week. Yes? Give me something to what? do! I don't need a jump pad. Make it quick. Okay, so it won't be as good. Back away. Back away and you might survive this. <laughs> That's what the last fellow said. Well, he would have <laughs> said it if I hadn't killed him first. Zeravok paid us well for our service, but he's dead now, and I'm in no rush to join him. Everyone lay down our arms. I saw you earlier yelling at me across the chasm. You mentioned a sword you thought I was looking for. What sword? Zeravok's sword. We stole the blade from the Ducal Palace, but you killed the man. I thought you might claim it as your own. I kind of want his sword. I do lay claim to it. I put it into Seravok. His blade is mine by right. Why do you want it? Kors Korlaz ordered us to. She had a buyer who offered her a ton of money for it. Enough to smuggle us all out of the city. That's all I know. Very well, the Flaming Fist awaits outside. Present yourself to them for arrest. We shall do as you say. Here, take this key. You'll need it to get to the crypt's lower level where Korlaz abides. Smart man.
these Riven have tolerated my presence thus far, thanks to you. But I know not how much longer that patience will last. This chasm sure looks deep. Do you feel warm air coming up from below? Is it just me? I do. Or is it a little damp in here? Wonder what's down there? the catacombs watch your step there are bound to be traps i wouldn't be surprised if they're more undead too tombs like this are usually full of wandering old bones the moment's uh, icon has changed oh if you i need just some realized. advice on dealing with undead the flaming fist healer might be able to help she's a priestess of lathander and knows a lot about how to deal with restless spirits No sooner you said than done. Welcome in my sight. Do you have any advice on dealing with undead? There's are undead among the creatures who blindly follow the master's orders. Cold magic and poison won't hurt them, but spells that are based on fire and usually work well. That's fair. Spectral and dead, what can you tell me about them? Spectral and dead are the most dangerous. They're cunning and powerful, and only magic, weapon, or spell can harm them. Many also possess spellcasting abilities. Ghosts, shadows, and wraiths are all spectral undead. Fire beetles. Attacking rats. Okay. Rat has nothing to say to me.
rather outlandish folk to be wandering round here. Halt, weird has gone in this device and you shall go no further. I've gone in this far, you won't be able to stop me. To arms! <laughs> Damn you and all you defend! Will you surrender? It's about the only chance you have. Make sure your people surrender too, and get rid of the Bone Boys. Everything was going to be different. Saravok is going to change the world. I gave everything to his cause, and you destroyed it all! Well, at least I... All your items and go. The flaming fist will escort you to your new. So place. be it. Rot in a cell or rot in a crypt, it makes little enough difference. Enjoyed our association, but it's Seriously? increasingly apparent Not my ambitions happy. aren't adequately accommodated by Baldur's Gate. Consider this my curtain call.
there we go. Stream has been buffering for me since I said hi, laugh. That means you didn't see me kill Saravok. We are now in the, uh... Seas of Dragon Spear expansion. It like in, after the end credits, it shoved me right into it. Like I didn't exit the game or anything. It just put me right into the expansion. Cool. Mhm. Mm Cor Laz's journal, uh, cleaning up uh, the remains of Saravok's followers. This journal spans the last six months. Certain entries strike you as being important. S and I had a long... Oh wow, this is a lot. Uh, okay, you know what to do. Read on your own as I scroll. <laughs> You did it! I knew you would! I wish I could have helped you out, but my magic still needs some work. A lot of work. You said Duke Janeth wanted uh, you to look for papers or books, right? I found these in Coralaz's room. This is exactly the sort of thing I was looking for. Thanks. I'll tell Duke Janath you found these when we get back to the palace. The Flaming Fist and I are gonna head back upstairs using the rope we found. It's just south of here. Takes you right up to the entrance. We'll meet you there when you're ready to leave. I was gonna say this better. No, I was gonna say this better not break my game. Of course. I don't know why I'd want Cobalt Moss.
mere hero of Baldur's Gate. You are not like these others. They love you now because you serve their purpose. Should that change, they will turn on you as certainly as the dawn follows night. Oh, I don't doubt it, Baconia. I guess this is it. We've done what we came to do. Time to head back to the palace for a well-earned rest, don't you think? Yes, let's return to the Ducal Palace. Thank you, gods, it's done! It's over. It's finally over. Saravok's allies are all dead, or awaiting the noose. What will you do now? What I've always done, seek the ways to expand my power. You sure are a ray of sunshine, aren't you? I'm glad you're all right. I worry about you. You waste time and energy with needless concern. I can take care of myself. I don't know why I talk to you sometimes. I really don't. Sometimes it just... Collage is defeated, and the last of Saravok's influence died with her. Your foster father, Gorion, has been avenged. With the exception of your friend Imowin, those who helped you thwart your half-brother's schemes drift away from you, returning to their lives. For the first time since you left Candlekeep, you have the opportunity to reflect on the astonishing turns your life has taken. Though you are fettered by the rulers of Baldur's Gate, a sense of unease plagues you. You can't help but hear the rumors, the whispers that you share the same dark blood as Saravok. Some hint you killed your half-brother, not for the good of the city, but so you could usurp his place and his power. For the moment, however, your persecutors' voices are drowned out by an ever-growing number of others with more immediate concerns. Every day, more refugees driven from their homes by the servants of Kalar Argent arrive at the city gates. Many have stories of the Shining Lady's grace. All have tales of her followers' wrath. A ten day after Corlage's defeat, you retire to your chamber in the Ducal Palace, your thoughts troubled. You wonder what effect Kalar's crusade will have on Baldur's Gate. Little knowing how close at hand the answer is. Heya, you awake? Ominous. It's me, Emmeline. Yeah, ominous. Just like... <laughs> Just like Baldur's Gate went from D&D to Super Smash Brothers. I'm awake now. Good. I need to talk about what's going on. Maybe I'm just jumpy because of what's been going on in the city. There's so many people here running from that crusade in the north. I thought I heard noises outside my room. I was worried something was happening. Noises? What kind of noises? Footsteps, maybe muttering. It was probably just a servant. <laughs> Hells. Now I feel silly. Wait, there it is again. Did you hear that? I'm gonna go check it out. And she was never heard from again. No sooner said than done. Emo N, all I hear is your mouth flapping. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't hear shit. Wait, is this? You gotta be shitting me. All the crap that I had on my person. And that everyone else in my party had. Here, help me! Oh. Keep 
back. I'm warning you. Come in closer and I'll... I'll... Cut her down. The hero is here. Of course I'm here. You all right? I'll live, but my friend well, Imoen requires aid. Imoen. No, wait, I don't think she's dead yet. I think she's breathing. I think. A healer should be here so soon. Forgive me. I'm Shale Corwin, Captain, Flaming Fist. Enemy forces penetrated the palace. I tried to reach you before they did, but... Well... I'd probably like to hear the story if my best friend wasn't dying! Fenster, the palace cleric, is working his way up, assisting the wounded as he goes. Your friend doesn't look too bad. No, best not to risk it. I'll find Fenster and get him up here. Are you shitting me? Imoen, are you here, girl? Oh. She is here, Grand Duke Janath. But she needs help. Let me see her. Fenster and the other healers are dealing with the wounded downstairs. I've some knowledge of the healing arts and a few potions. Perhaps I can be of assistance. Duke Janeth, what is what is all this about? Several assassins managed to penetrate the palace. Some guards stumbled upon them and raised the alarm. A handful of the attackers were slain. The rest scattered through the building, finding their way to you and wounding my apprentice. Assassin. The assassin's blades are coated with a mystic poison, but I believe I can save her. What the can best I do thing you can do right now is accompany Captain Corwin downstairs and ensure the palace is secure. Of course, my lady. I'll give you a moment to recover yourself and await you on the second floor. Wait, this is the shit Imoen had on her when she left. I need to read this. Treasury note. The wealth you accumulated since departing Candlekeep has been stored in the palace basement by the treasurer Ophilus. Presenting this receipt, meticulously inscribed on delicate parchment, will allow you to withdraw your gold. A personal note has been written at the bottom of the receipt. Dear Ignis, as I've not heard otherwise, I'm guessing the chest I had delivered to your quarters to store your friend's equipment is getting the job done. Please do let me know if it isn't, and I'll have another sent to you immediately. Can I put this? Oh my god, I can. Oh, I can't put that in there, though. Oh, this is a spell. That's a spell. That's worthless to me. Hi! To arms. There are more assassins about. It doesn't matter. If there are more, they will too. They too will fall. The council will want to know you're all right. We should get downstairs. Let's go. Nice that we explore. I never got the chance to explore this place because I was busy trying to kill my brother.
let us begin. You know your host, Duke Belt, and Grand Dukes L10 and Entar Silver Shield, I believe. Grand Duke Silver Shield, weren't you? Forgive me if this isn't delicate. Weren't you killed? It took all of Fenster's skills to restore me to life, but we are not here to discuss my health. What do you know of the so-called Shining Lady, Kalar Archer? With what I know and two coppers, I could buy an ale at the Lone Lantern. I examined the body of one of the assassins. The sun cresting the horizon was branded upon his forearm. A symbol of Kayla Argent and her cursed crusade. The crusade is in Baldur's Gate? I thought they were only active north of the winding water. They were. Something has changed. The crusade has disrupted trade all along the Sword Coast. Hundreds, thousands, have been driven from their homes, their fields and storehouses ransacked. Some weeks ago, we dispatched a hundred flaming fists to join with soldiers of Waterdeep and Daggerford and march on Kalar's stronghold, Dragonspear Castle. There won't be enough. The Crusade's ranks have swelled. After the Iron Crisis, the fists are already stretched perilously thin. Even so, we're sending every sword we can muster north. We would have you join them. The hero of Baldur's Gate is once again called upon to defend the city. I stand ready to answer that call. Excellent. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. There is one other thing you should know. I took this parchment from one of the assassin's bodies. It's a passable likeness of you. I'm sure you'll agree. Should I? Should I? Yes. Yes, I shall. Kayla sent uh, killers after me in the Ducal Palace. But I'm so very lovable. You need not go alone. The Fist shall back you, and more as well, if you wish. I know the whereabouts of your old allies. Some of them, anyway. The Captain here can escort you to them. So we're headed to the nearest tavern, I presume. A couple of them, if you'd like. I'll be at the main doors when you're ready to go. You're doing Baldur's Gate a great service. We'll not forget it. No sooner said than done. No sooner said than done. Hold on. What the? No sooner said than done. Ah, uh, yes. What does the hero of Baldur's get need of me? For now, our paths okay, must yeah, part. Uh, May uh, time more favor you in your companion. travels. Greetings. How are you holding up? A refreshing perspective. My friends on the council are inclined to view the tankard as half empty. Weakness invites defeat. Kill our acts without hesitation or doubt. We must do no less. As pleasant as it is to speak with you, I am required elsewhere right now. Oh, if you do venture into the city, be sure to take Captain Corwin with you. 
A talented officer, that one. She'll take care of you. Hello. I am glad to see you well. Farewell, then. Where's the guy who said he knew of my associates? No are. sooner said than Accept done. My apologies. My intent was to keep you and Imowen safe. Kalar's assassins, indeed any assassins, should never have been able to breach the palace. <laughs> These things happen. Speaking of happening, what in the hell's happened to your voice? Ah, oh, yes, you wouldn't know. An old friend from my adventuring days caught up to me shortly before the Iron Crisis began. The Flaming Fist dealt with her, but not before she managed to place a curse upon me. Irritating, but not life-threatening. Even so, I'm glad to have my true voice restored. I can imagine. What can you tell me of this Kalar Argent? I wish there were more to tell. Our scouts in the Troll Claws and more have had little success tracking her movements. In the process, many of our people have gone missing or worse, left our surface to join her. What could turn the royal soldiers against their own city? Adherents of many faiths flock to her banner. What she hopes to accomplish is vague, but that's done nothing to diminish her followers' devotion. Zealots for f followers, a hidden agenda, and no idea of her plans or strategy. If she means to wage war upon us, we're already losing. What more do we know? She first appeared on the high moor with a handful of followers. Their ranks swelled alarmingly fast. Initially, their efforts were geared toward taking control of Dragonspear. As the castle was seized, more flocked to her cause. Her army spread out in all directions, and now it has reached us. I hope you can end this threat. We will see about marshalling our own troops and preparing for another attack. Accept my apologies. My intent was to keep you and Imowen safe. Kalar's assassins, indeed any assassins, should never have been able to breach the palace. Okay. No sooner said than done. You are welcome here. A bad, it's a bad business. A terrible business. All of it. A terrible business. A terrible business. What is? I'm too depressed to talk to right now. Give me a, please, give me a moment, please. I need to compose myself. Yes, what does the hero of Baldur's get need of me? Better now that she is no longer under the sway of that noxious pig dog Eldoth. But only a little better. The girl is determined to vex me. She throws herself into the jaws of the world, not realizing the dangers awaiting there. I fear it will take extreme action on my part to prevent tragedy befalling her. So it seems to me, at least. I am sure she would tell a different tale were you to ask her. I may do that. For now, I will ask what you know of the situation up north. I have scattered reports, rumors, conjecture. It is said the crusade holds sway from the High Moor to the Winding Water. The High Moor and Misty Forest are Kalar's, as are the Serpent Hills and most of Trollbark Forest. She has much of the tall hills too, but even she avoids Warlock's crypt, so far at least. After her attack on you, I think her bold but reckless, willing to attempt anything to further her agenda, whatever it is. But for now, you must excuse me. The council must see to the city as you see to Kalar. Taimora favor your trials. A 
Have you completed your preparations? Once we start marching north, there will be no coming back to the city. I need a few more things. I'm going to head out into the city. All right, I'll be up a while yet. If you decide to go into the city, I'll join you. Done all you need to. Go upstairs to your quarters and get some rest. We'll leave when we'll leave when you awake. Wow. The flaming fist is trying to keep the peace, but it's an uphill battle. No sooner said than done. We aren't far from the Elfsong Tavern. A few people you might want to speak with, Safana, Koran, and the Bard Garrick, have been seen there recently. Or if you'd like to get some supplies for the journey to Dragonspear, we can go to Sorceress Sundries. A waste of my talents. So, what if I went over here? The Three Old Kegs isn't far from here. There's a pair of Rishemi travelers staying there. Duke Eltan thought you might speak with them. Of course. Man, this game sure loves to make it impossible for me to leave. We should reach the Iron Throne building soon. Eltan wanted you to speak with a Salunite monk helping out there, name of Rasad in Bashir. No sooner said than done. And over here? We're almost to Flaming Fist headquarters. There's a cleric being held there Duke Eltan thinks you might want to speak to. Though why anyone would want to talk to a madman like Tiax is beyond me. Of course. Elf song. A waste of my talents. Elf song tavern. A little pretentious for my taste. I'll wait for you here. As you wish. Call call if you need me. Whoa. Like whoa. No sooner said nice. than done. You want some whiskey? Hmm. Garen, wait, I recognize you, don't I? I feel like I have met Garrick. It's not been so long since we've ventured together, has it, Varric? Ignis, it's you. Please join me. Tell me a tale. What brings you here? I'm looking for a pair of rogues, Safana and Corin. I heard they were here. They're upstairs, I believe. Just follow the shouting and pray you only interrupt them arguing. Ah! Whoa! I forgot there was an upstairs. Out! Get out, you vile poxy snake! I rue the day I heard your wretched name, you weasel. I'm a weasel and a snake? 
That doesn't make sense. Oh, Corin. I remember him. I've got a dagger, you know. Do you think I won't use it? Go! Get out of here. Get out of here! Do I know you? You don't recognize me, Corin? What is this now? Do my eyes deceive me? Could this truly be Ignis standing before me? If it isn't, someone's made a terrible mistake. How are you, Corin? Better for having seen you, but I must go now. If Safana catches me lingering, she try to follow through with the threats to cut off certain parts of my body. <laughs> parts I'd be mo most reluctant to lose, if you get my meaning. You'll forgive me if I don't tarry. Here, have this gem. I <coughs> acquired it from a lovely elven girl. Lovely and so, so quiet. Safana was furious, of course. I should never have taken the damnable thing, but it would have been impolite to refuse, wouldn't it? All right, take care. Hopefully we'll meet again soon, under brighter circumstances. to all nine hells, Koran. I swear I'm going to... Oh. Hello. I don't think I've met her. I think it's assuming that some of these characters I've already met, but I don't recognize her. Hey, Safana. Been a while. You're looking good. You know what I always admired about you? Your keen sense of observation. Well, don't just stand there. Come in. What brings you to my door? Earlier this night, assassins penetrated... <laughs> penetrated. The Ducal Palace and attempted to kill me. They were sent by Kalar Argent. Who? Kayla Argent. She's responsible for the rising tide of people flowing into the city. We're going to fight her. We'd like your help. We? Or you? <laughs> I like this chick. Me. I would like you to come with us. I could never say no to you. <laughs> then again, I can't think of a single thing you could ask that would make me want to. <laughs> Okay, okay. Next time I play Baldur's, the first Baldur's Gate, I need to, like, look through, uh, every inch of the game. Guys, how the hell did I miss this chick? Okay. No sooner said than done. Get away, you crazy craze makers! Get away! Of course. No sooner said than done.
No sooner said than done. All right, get what you need. I'll cover the door. Very well. Be careful, it's a fair bet someone's pocket is getting picked in here. Take care that it isn't yours. I'll follow you out when you go. Of course. A waste of my talent. No sooner said than done. Over the counter. A waste of my talents. We did it! We's in! Grab everything you can! When our bags are full, Sithil will teleport us out again. We're not alone! You! What you doing here? This our score! We watched place for weeks! You should have kept watching. Get out of here while you're still able. Kill the Kyurlin! What? You want to? Whatever you like. Yes. No sooner said than done. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. If it catch you line jumping, I'll turn you into a duck. I have those potion bottles you wanted. Wonderful, thank you. This will be a big help. Here, a token for your troubles. Is there anything else I can help you with? Sorry, Safana, but I need the book. Of course. I'll await you here until you're ready to go. Very well. 
When you leave, don't move too far ahead of me. If, you, if I lose you in the crowd, Duke Elton will have my head. No sooner said than done. Of course. There's no doubt in it. Now is the time to remove the Council of Four and take the city for ourselves. Hush, someone's here. You there, this is the private room. What are you? You're Ignis, aren't you? The hero of Baldur's Gate? What are you doing here? I couldn't help but overhear you. Oh, what precisely did you hear? Things you don't, you really don't want to uh, want to make the way to the Grand Dukes. Let's talk about how much you're ready to spend to make sure that doesn't happen, shall we? You can't intimidate us. I, I, I'll scream for the guards. Please do. I'll need the guards here when I expose you as traitors. There's no use arguing, Thurton. He's got us right where he wants us. <laughs> oh wait, <sighs> Kuro wants out. Little baby wants out. Don't you? <laughs> oh, very well. Here, it's all I have. Well, take our leave now. Let never let us see your face again. What is it, Bo? Minsk! I've never seen you so. Minsk! Yes! 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 Ah, can it be? Is this the hero of Baldur's Gate I see? It is, it is I, it is I, Ansem, Seeker of Darkness. It is I, Minsk, it's been too long. Minsk. Whose giant shrunken heart thrills to see you again, as does my own. I didn't take him with me in, in the base game, but I have to. How are you? Worse now than I was a day ago. I'm journeying to the north. I was hoping Boo, and you of course, would join me. Boo and I would journey to at least seven of the hills and back for you. Probably all nine, but Boo says, Minsk, be realistic. This, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Every day you get to, uh, you get to journey with, uh, with a miniature giant space hamster. But we cannot leave our friend Dinah here undefended. I wouldn't ask you to. I'm hoping she will come too. Uh, another character. I don't recognize the name, so it's probably a character that I missed in the base game. Then do as the cats do to Boo when they think he is not looking and follow. Dinah here. Someone would like to speak with you. How many times must I tell you, Minsk, I'll not debate Boo on the merits of... Take the brain-damaged right? warrior with Why you. Why art thou here? 
Take the brain damaged warrior with you. Well, of course! I also love how they'll just play, uh, play not say your name in voice acting, and it makes sense. It's been a while since I heard someone well and truly mangled the common tongue. I missed it. I know not what thou speakest of. Common words never sound better than when they're twixt my lips. Did you write this woman's dialogue, Pyro? I love my old and speak, tis true. Did you write this woman's uh, dialogue though? Be honest with me! This sounds like some shit. This is some shit you would write. Soon I will journey north to Dragon Spirit. Was not I, dearest troll? <laughs> you, you absolute small. <laughs> Soon I will journey north to Dragon Spirit Castle. I would have you join me. Thou wouldst face the shining lady then. She tried to kill me. She very nearly killed somebody. Care. Deeply for I can't let that stand. I have little choice in the matter. She sent assassins to try and kill me this morning. I know of this woman. There are those who believe her to be a daughter of the divine, perhaps even a child of Baal. She merits further investigation and is the reason I still linger in the region. Thine offer is accepted. Minsk and I will travel north with thee. And with Bo. Of course. We would be lost without thy hamster. Prepare yourself, Boo. We are about to embark on another epic adventure. Of course. No sooner said than done. You've a fair number of friends, but we should head back to the Ducal Palace. You need to get some rest before we head out in the morning. I'm not done in the city yet. I want to finish a few things up first. A waste of my talents. What's this, Bison? Huh? What is this? It's all I have, I swear. Well, you better have some more next time I see you. Friendly. Man, this place is crowded. No sooner said than done.
What? Sweetheart? Make it quick. Okay. A waste of my she talent. Got stuck on something. I'm sorry, what? Of course. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Head down the hall and keep on going to the central chamber to the wing opposite this one, or just follow the Rantan. Either one will get you to the maniac. I'll wait for you here. Oh, you've brought me to a jail. You have the soul of a romantic. A waste of my talents. You, come here! Tyx commands you! Well then, Tyx, how are you doing this night? How is Tyx doing? What sort of question is that for the master of all? I would not want to upset the master of all by being rude. Then you wise, perhaps when Tyx takes what is rightfully his, you will be spared. You may go now. Yes, I think that would be for the best. Fear the dark side! Well, that was time well spent. Tyx has spoken. Be gone! Tyx will not join, thank God. I already have enough raven lunatics. A waste of my talents. No sooner said than done. What the hell? You! You are the one who delivered me to this hell! Hell, the last residence was a crypt. The Ducal Palace looks like a step up to me. Do you think there might be a better strategy we could use here than goading a half-mad mage to anger? I was surprised when I was taken to the palace and not to the jail. Now I know it was so the dukes could torment me in private. Did you think I'd be treated fairly? Justly? I expected no mercy, but even I didn't expect this... this horror. The truth, I didn't think of you at all. I don't care what they do to you. That makes two of us. You're nothing more than I expected. Pathetic. Now let us finish this. We're more than mercenaries.
are welcome here. You don't have my gold. You bet all of my gold on a dog race. All of it. Been done. Surely you do. <laughs> of course, Sky, but why are you here? As I recall, you were kidnapped when we last spoke. I was just a child then. Now, I'm a woman. I've even joined... Well, never mind. I'll tell you that later. When I'm sure we're alone. I heard you talking to Daddy and the other Dukes about Kalar. Are you going to Dragon Spear? The, the Shining Lady and I have business to settle. Daddy hasn't told you everything. Did he mention he thinks Kalar might be one of Baal's children? Yeah, <laughs> I thought not. We can't talk here. I'll tell you more later. Bleeding, what happened to you? I had an Ignis. I had your money. Forget the money, Ophelis. Who did this to you? They were refugees fleeing the crusade. I heard one. She said they could return to the, the three old kegs now that. Oh god, that hurts. That really, really hurts. Now that they had gold to spend. The three kegs, eh? I'll start there, then. Get in the palace and find a cleric. The streets aren't safe, especially for someone in your current state. Kind man. Thank you. I will repay you. I s swear it. Just, just need, just need a little, just need a little more, a little more time, and some healing. Excuse me. Of course. Of course. No sooner said than done. A waste of my talents. I suppose you ask questions. A waste of my talents. It is always good to give a little tip. What can you tell me about this place? It is always good to give a little tip.
<laughs> I do might have the ugliest face, but you don't see me going on about it. There's no talking to a lackwit like Aunt Teen. Violence is all he understands. And you? You seem reasonable. Reasonable, I, but I'm also a crew member of the Omnian Delight. I'm gonna beat this codfish cuddler into the ground. How about you give me a hand? Aye, alright, let's get him. Take it like a champ. A waste you of my talents. Refined palate. It is always good to give a little tip. in town recently then no no we've been here 10 day or more it's Duke Belt's charity that feeds us or the charity of his palace's treasurer anyway what was his name again Ophidius no Ophilus was it he was the one that contributed to our merrymaking It's funny you mentioned Ophilus. I encountered him earlier. He did not have the air of one who happily parted with the gold you spend here with such abandon. Who are you? What do you want with us? Who am I? They call me Ignis. Among other things, hero of Baldur's Gate, slayer of Saravog, destroyer of the Iron Throne. That one, I... Uh, that one actually took a bit of work. I want the money you took from Ophilus. My money. We don't have the gold. This banquet enjoy is certainly impressive, but could, but you could not have spent all my gold on it. The journey to Bold's Gate was long and hard, and our time here has been no easier. With skin and bones, this is the first distant meal we've had in two months or more. Our story is hardly unique, I know. Thousands who fled the crusade and huddled in the streets of the city, cold, hungry, and alone. We took the treasure's gold, not just to help ourselves, but others who share in our plight. You're missing the point, friend. It wasn't Ophilus's gold you took. It was mine, and I need it now. You need it more than the mothers and children starving on the streets. No. You want it, and that's fair enough. I understand that. But that gold saved many lives, or at least prolonged them a time. If we must be punished for that, so be it. I'll die gladly knowing I did it service to a higher cause. You stole my shit! A tale of bleak despair that would touch even the most callous of hearts. Someone wake me when it's over. And if we're not killed, I'll sell them the flaming... Fist will at least offer a roof over our head in a meal a day. That's more than many have right now. Your heart might have been in the right place, but what about Ophilus? You beat the man within an inch of his life. I can't allow thievery and assault to go unchallenged in the city. Go downstairs and turn yourself into Captain Corrin of the Flaming Fist. You're right. We needed what we took, but that doesn't excuse what we did. We'll turn ourselves over. We'll, we'll turn ourselves in. Farewell, hero. <sighs> A waste of my talents. A waste of my talents.
No sooner said than done. A waste you of my talent. Party before venturing forth. Of course. No sooner said than done. I welcome you with outstretched hand. A friend needs rest now. I doubt he could wake up even if he tried, but it'd be best for all if he didn't try. Leave us now. No sooner you said than gather done. gather your party before venturing forth. Oh. Of course. I'm stupid. A waste of my talents. Of course. All right. I'll see you on the morrow. Word is your friend Imoen's mostly recovered from the Crusader poison, if you want to speak with her. Just remember, once you go up to your room, I'll leave to begin preparing for the journey. You won't get another chance to head out into the city. Hold on, dealing with something? Gather your party before venturing forth. About time. Of course. So this is the Slayer of Saravok, the hero of Baldur's Gate. How pleased I am to make your acquaintance. And I'm sure I will be yours once you tell me how you got in here. If it is security you desire, it would be prudent to reconsider your sleeping arrangements. I suspect the palace's weaknesses have become all too apparent to you of late. Yeah. Strange. There lies within you barely a spark of divine consciousness, yet you bested your brother in blood. How? What is it that drove you to victory where so many others fell in defeat? Uh, teases of my foster father Gorion saw me through. I mean, they did help. Gorion. His death was the first step of your current journey, was it not? I wonder what wisdom did he impart that left such an impression? I made certain I knew what I needed to know to survive. Interesting. We will see if that is enough to bear you through the trials ahead. Ooh, mysterious. You do not see it yet, but another crossroads in your journey lies before you. One you will reach sooner than you think. The path you choose is of interest to me. Your path could lead in many directions. You waver, unsure whether to claim credit for your deeds or to brush them aside. I can offer you clarity. 
But we can speak more of this in time when I am certain that you are the one I seek. Who are you? What do you want? Suffice it to say that I am a man who has lost much, but would regain some measure of what was taken from me. That is all you need now. I am not here to act, not yet. I am here to evaluate. Are you worthy? Is what you carry within enough? Are you strong enough to overcome the challenges you shall soon face? You're Waldo. It's secretly Waldo. Only the passage of time will provide us answers. I'm curious to see how this plays out. I will be watching. I... Oh, you're back. Sorry if I don't seem excited to see you. Poison really takes a toll. What was that man in the hood doing here? You don't know him? He said he was a friend of yours. We've known some pretty strange characters, so I didn't think it was weird to have someone pop in looking for you. I don't know who he is. He's certainly no friend of mine. It's Walt uh, Pyro. Let's t n n n how much do you want to bet that it's actually Waldo? Forget about him. We need to talk about your going to battle the Crusade. I know you think you have to do this, but I am telling you, you don't. Not only do you not have to do it, you shouldn't. I'm healing, but you need to heal too. Not just from fighting Saravok. Those are just cuts and scars. But in coming to terms with, you know, what you are. Let someone else take care of the Shining Lady. Please. Kaylar and her crusade must never be allowed to attack us again. I knew you'd say that. I'm... I'm sorry. I can't go with you. I don't want you to. You'll be safer here. Well, so would you, silly. But that doesn't matter, does it? I know that look in your eyes. I'm just wasting my breath. Promise me you'll be careful, all right? I don't know what I'd do if... We've just lost too many people, you know? I'm gonna leave now. Take care of yourself. Navi. Are you awake? I am now, Sky. You can't tell Daddy Duke Silvershield about this. Why I you joined here? the Flaming Fist. Your father. Hey, alive. listen. Hey, listen. Look out. Your father allowed that? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Daddy would never permit it. I joined under a false name. Life as a noble is boring and stupid. I want to do something great with my life. And also get out of this dirty old city. And maybe meet some handsome soldiers. So, I'm going north with you. Well, that's... something. I know! All right, go back to sleep. I'll see you in... Oh, I guess you don't really have time to sleep now. I'll see you soon. Remember, whatever you do, don't tell Daddy about this. But why did you tell me? Here is the hero. Ready, get ready to go. The early bird catches the evil worm. <laughs> Isn't that right, Boo? Of course. No sooner said than done. Of course.
Look at all the people coming to wish us good fortune in our travels, Boo. So this is the great Feldarkin hero of Baldur's Gate, eh? Doesn't look like much to me. A waste of my talents. You have children, Captain? Just one. Feels like more than that sometimes. I'm a handful, that's what Grandpa says anyway. His hands aren't that big though. I'd say I'm at least six handfuls. Six of his hands, I mean. This is my daughter, Roma. Roma, this is Ignis. I know you, you killed Saravok. Are you gonna kill Kaylar too? Only if the opportunity presents itself. The what? What they're saying is, they'll do what they have to. Just like you? Exactly like that. Do I jinx it? Have no fear, Roma. I'll make sure nothing happens to your mother. Mama doesn't need you. She can take care of herself. Oh, I like this little one. She has a fire in her belly. That's right. Now give me a hug, Roma, and go to your grandfather. Mama's gotta get going. I have many fine wares. Weapons are what he mostly ha What the f Fuck are those? Hello there. You are the hero of Baldur's Gate, am I right? That is what they call me, though I'm not com comfortable with the title. It was fear that compelled me. The fear of not rising to the call. And so I took the mantle and faced my fear. And when I did, I embraced it and discovered purpose, courage, and life. I am Rafus Goodtree. It is an honor to meet you. And it will be a greater honor still to fight the Shining Lady at your side. Baconia! How much longer must we wait? Crowds of fickle things. I know too well what can happen when moods turn sour. Viconia! Vico Viconia? Viconia Dever? Is that you? What's this now? Hardrow knows the hero of Baldur's Git? Your drow? I belong to no man, Pfog, and certainly not you. Well met, Ignis, it's been a while. I was sorry you left after dealing with Corlas. I attended to business of a personal nate. I attended to business of a personal nature. More than that, you need not know. You deserve better company than this, Durgar. Join me. Wait a minute. Wait one fell Durkin minute. I don't care who you are. Don't care if you're Lord the Hells 1 through 9. You're not taking our cleric away from us. I told you before, Pfog, I belong to no one. Of all that cheek, I'll have your hide, you traitorous cow! I think not. This is the hero of Baldur's Gate, remember? And as you remember that, recall what happened to Saravok. Come, 
Let us leave this Iblith dwarf to wallow in his own filth. I have a new word to look up. I don't know that word. We need a healer, small drowish dwarfkin. We need a healer, small drowish dwarfkin. That's right, the Durgar are basically dark dwarves, aren't they? Okay, I can't seem to find this. Yep, dwarves that reside in the Underdark. Okay, I can't seem to find the word Iblis. It might be unique to uh, to D and D. Yes! Your actions are as ill judged as they are incomprehensible. What some of these people do is not so good. Sometimes not so good is the best we can be if we want to accomplish our goals. There is good and there is evil. Boo knows the difference. The hamster's eyes are upon you. Do not disappoint him. I wasn't sure I was going to see uh, Viconia ever again. It's a drow insult. Ugh, the stink of the collective. Oh, land. it's a drow I insult. Them all. I can't believe I didn't. I can't believe I didn't. I thought I recognized the word. I just couldn't. Okay, how do I leave? There you are. The caravan's at the palace gate. We're ready to head to Dragonspear if you are. You do it, cheering, cheering for a sibling of Saravok. That's what they are. They found Saravok's journal. It reveals the truth, but the council of Forum wants to keep it a secret. Is that true, Ignis? Are you a child of Ball? I can handle this, Captain Corwin. Hear me, people of Baldur's Gate. I know you suffered at Saravok's ends. Know you fear what the future holds. Within the, with the heretic Kellogg driving good people from their homes across the Sword Coast. I hear your cries for justice, and I swear to you, I shall end this threat to us all. Well done. Let's be on our way before some other wind turns the crowd against us.
Captain Shale Corwin and her aide, Corporal Bence Duncan, maintain Keeping order in the Alden. caravan from Baldur's Gate. Some who joined the expedition are unaccustomed to flaming fist discipline. Hard lessons are learned in the early days of the march north. The journey is slowed by the Crusade's victims. A multitude of broken, haunted men and women clog the coast way. When asked, they speak of fields set aflame, granaries ransacked, and family conscripted by the Crusade. Yet many characterize these hardships as necessary sacrifices in pursuit of a greater good. A strange acceptance, even admiration of Kalar Argent is disconcertingly common in those she has wronged. Some proclaim the Shining Lady a prophet, doing the work of not one but all faiths, all gods. Is it possible Kalar Argent's cause is a righteous one? Or is she engaged in a great deception to further her own agenda, as Saravak once did? One way to find out. See. And what of your goals? Many souls were lost during the Dragon Spear Wars. I will see justice done and restore them to the light. Yes, quite honorable. But what makes you think yourself capable of achieving this, Kayla Argent? You dare befoul my person with your magics? Blood is something to behold, not fear. Your divine heritage radiates from you. From which of your parents, mother or father? Enough of these games, and enough of your questions! Heffernan, get this mage out of my sight! At once, my lady. Oh boy. We will have words about this, scarred one. Perhaps. Ah, it has been too long since we journeyed with such a fine companion. I need to speak with thee. I am growing concerned with things thou hast done and others thou hast allowed. There is a line twixt good and evil, and thou art perilously close to crossing it. There are times evil is the most efficient method to achieve the greater good. I mean, that's not wrong. Ha, huh, who is this speaking to me now? Is, that, is it thou, Ignis, or Kalar? I am certain she would justify herself in much the same way. There is a darkness within thee. Thou must be ever watchful, and surely as night follows day, it, it will consume thee. I would not see this happen, but ultimately thou art the only one who can prevent it. Yes? This group shows promise. Extraordinary. Of course. I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. This is where I killed Saravok. You did not think me truly dead, did you? We've a bond between us, you and I. A connection even the sharpest blade cannot sever. A bond forged in blood, hatred, death. I held the sword coast by its throat. It wriggled and squealed in my grip. And then... You. I should have killed you. As I had so many others. But something stayed my hand. A weakness I had never known before. Are we one and the same, my brother? One soul in two bodies. Born of the Lord of Murder. We will never end, you and I. Familial affection. Even in death. Mm. 
You are not but ashes. Return from whence you came and bother me no more. You understood none of this, did you? Do you see now? Well, that was a dream. What? A waste of my talent. Set. Watch us too. We've been marching hard, covered a lot of ground, but we still a ways to go. Everyone could use a rest, yourself included. Tonight might be the last full night's sleep we get. We'll be in Crusader territory after we cross the bridge. The rest of you want to head in up the road away. I don't want any surprises before we cross the winding water. Mind if I join you? I do better in the city than the woods, but perhaps I can help and maybe learn a thing with you. Ben... Ben Che... Ben Se Can take care of the camp. Yes, join me. I could use someone of your skill at my side. She's an archer. A word. I want to talk about that little speech you made before we left the gate. I was wondering when you'd get around to asking about that. Is it true? Are you a child of Baal? Does it make a difference? My father has a saying, words comfort, but blood will tell. A bleak view if he truly believes his words. I prefer to think one's actions are determined by individual will. we are watching your actions carefully. You, be, you may be sure of that. I'll, I'm to keep you safe as long as I can, and I will fulfill my orders. But if you do anything needlessly, anything to need, needlessly endanger the men and women under my command, there will be a price to pay. I trust we understand one another. Good. I'm, I'll leave you to your business. They mock me. Me. This cannot stand. This will not stand. Eh? What is this? Where did you come from? Careful, Odessiron. You can trust no one. Edwin, Edwin Od Odesserion. Od 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 I remember him. You dismiss me as you would some moon-faced servant boy? Yes. Pray to whatever gods you worship, we do not cross paths again. Rabbit. Nature? Puh. Who needs it? Twigs in my hair, bugs flying around my face. Give me a city any day. Might be annoying at times, but nature can also be beautiful. You think this is beautiful, hmm? Anything else in the area that catches your eye? You know what a beautiful woman you are, Safana. You don't need me to tell you. Is that the best you can do? I've been complimented with far more grace and authenticity. Your compliment is so pedestrian, it almost sounds like an insult. 
I'm sorry? Come back to me when you've thought of something truly complimentary to say. And maybe I'll listen. Oh. The hero is here! On their own! The elites failed? Gods! Wait! What are you? No! Don't! <laughs> okay, that was not my fault. I didn't even know that was gonna happen. Crossing is down. God damn it. This is our chance to prove ourselves to Kalon. She wants the hero of Baldur's Gate. Cut off their retreat. Quick. Take them! What made you think we were retreating? They really do not want to, uh, miss around, do they? Curse you, Jeeves. Do you know what your cowardice has cost us this night? Heffernan, what happened here? The hero of Baldur's Gate arrived, milady. Unbound and unescorted by your elites, this man panicked. He destroyed the bridge before our prey could cross. Forgive me, my mistress, please. There is nothing to forgive, Javis. The fault is mine. I should have warned you of this possibility. It is time this child of Baal and I had words. Ooh, we get to speak already. I am Kalar Argent. I know you hear my words. I would speak with you. I am Spartacus! No, wait, wrong movie. This may be our only opportunity to communicate directly with Kalar. We have to take it. Perhaps I can persuade her to end this madness now before more lives are lost. This is new. She's never been willing to speak to anyone representing the Council before. If she'll talk to you... Well, I doubt she's here to surrender, but we should hear what she has to say. And so the hero of Baldur's Gate comes from my head. Shall we speak and see what truth comes of it? We'll see about that. Speak, but keep your distance. We stand poised on the cusp of a new age. Someday all Farron shall look to this moment and say, Then. That was when everything changed. Destiny and the blaze of the assassins you sent to slay me. God, I love how I can just be sassy. I am not your enemy. Consider for a moment the poison my agent sought to use against you. You didn't intend to kill me? It may seem that we stand on opposite sides, but it is not so. Our goals align closer than you know, and there is much we could achieve together. We can rule the galaxy as father and son. Wait, uh, wait, wrong, wrong franchise again. I am a drop of water in the river of my army. We will wash away all opposition. Return to Baldur's Gate. Tell the council not to oppose me. Some say the blood of Baal runs through your veins, Kalar Argent. Is it true? Nay, no child of Baal am I, nor any other god. I am an Asimar, descended from a Solar that blessed my line generations ago. Is blood what matters to you? Or the message? Oh, what's an Asimar again? Shit. I feel like I've heard that word. I'm sure I've heard that word before, either through a different D&D &D game or from reading one of the books.
I care nothing for your message any more than I care for the orders of the Grand Duke. Such humility in one whose shadow stretches far across the Sword Coast. Your deeds are many. Slayer of Saravak, hero of Baldur's Gate, and it is even said the Council of Four answers to you. You accuse me of feigning humility, and what of you, shining lady? A title given to me by those who I have inspired, those who believe in my cause. I will not be shamed for acting as a beacon of light to those in darkness. In our lifetimes, two dragon spear wars have ravaged this land. Fiends set out from the castle, bringing ruin to the land, and dragging thousands of innocent souls into the inferno before being beaten back for a time. Those who follow me lost wives and husbands, parents, children, friends. But what was lost can be restored. I will bring those tortured souls back to Toril. Do you really believe such a thing is possible? I do. And even should I fail, it is necessary. To not attempt it would be a greater crime. Would you hesitate if one of your own were cast into the Hells, whatever their deeds? Or would the Dukes be fighting you now to keep you from what you feel is right? Countless lives were lost as the fiends erupted from Dragonspear. A tide of hate and sulfur ravaging the land. None could escape. There was nowhere to run. Families, homes, loved ones. Every soul caught in a fiend's grip at the moment of their death. But it does not end there. They are taken to the Nine Hells. Their blood boils, their skin blisters and bursts. Devil's claws rend their soul, tearing it to shreds. But they cannot die. I hear them. I hear the screams of the unjustly damned. And I will not turn a deaf ear. I am not without symp sympathy for the souls of Dragonspear, Kalar. But what you attempt lacks strategy and worse, ignores what could happen. Perhaps again. You have done little to fight the calling in your own blood, and you cannot judge me for the same, ball spawn. Murder beats in your heart, justice and salvation in mine. In the end, we will see which beats stronger. I cannot let you do this, Kalar. You've already brought harm upon the, the living, and soon you will do the same to the dead. I regret the loss of those who stood against me, and trust that in death, they will come to understand what I could not show them in life. I will honor their passing with the return of the Dragon Spear dead. Your father was the Lord of Murder. Countless lives were stolen in his name. What if you could restore that balance, bring back those unjustly taken? Would you? Or is the call of your sire's blood too strong? I do not heed the call of my blood. My actions are my own, and you will not sway me from them. Very well. If this is your choice, then meet me at Dragonspear Castle, and we shall end this. Very well, then. Dragonspear Castle. You and I will meet again. Of this, I am sure. We do not need to meet as enemies. Reconsider your course, I beg you. Ignis, are you all right? We heard an explosion. Uh, Pyro did it. Wolfwitch Pyro uh, did the explosion again. Fine, but we'll need to find another place to cross the winding water. The bridge is down? Gods! Half of Baldur's Gate trade comes through here. I like boom. <laughs> I like boom. I just imagine I just imagine seeing you as a halfling. Just there just there holding a torch and excited that I'm blaming you for something you didn't do. The trade of a nation is secondary to its survival. 
trade may not matter to you, but not all enjoy so lofty a perch as yours. Borskaya Bridge is our best bet to cross the winding water now, though it's a ten day away. You should return to camp and talk to Corporal Duncan. He'll know the best way forward. I've got a few ideas myself, but I agree. We should talk to Corporal Duncan. Perhaps we could speak about Kalar first. So that was Kalar. I'm beginning to understand why so many have flocked to her banner. If you could ignore the suffering she's caused, she makes a compelling case for her crusade. You're not having doubts, are you? Kalar, certainly she... Her words can be moving, but what of Baldur's Gate? The Council? Be assured, the Shining Lady will pay for what she tried to do to Emoen and me. That's all this is to you? Revenge? Kaylar attacked Emoen, attacked me. I'd be lying if I said there was nothing personal in this. She made it personal. Fair enough! <laughs> I mean, yeah, she sent assassins. <laughs> Almost killed my old my BFF. Almost killed. Uh, try made an attempt on my life. Yeah, it's personal. Let's head back to camp. With Timora's favor, we might make Boriskir Bridge before the Crusade sets up another ambush for us. Boriskir. Someone has written, bet on the squirrel, the squirrel always wins, atop this crumpled parchment. Oh, this is for the Black Pits. Ah, oh, good to know Balar is doing well. Bela, not Balar. Okay, there's not much of a difference in appearance. Is there something I can do for you? Why do you ask? I simply thought that if we're to travel together, face Kalar Argent together, we might do well to get to know one another.
I would like nothing better, Captain, but I fear you'll, find, you'll not find me good company at the moment. Let's concentrate on the mission, then. If we can do what the Grand Dukes have asked, I'll be satisfied. Would that everyone was so easy to satisfy? You think it'll be easy? I admire your optimism, if nothing else. Let's go. You are welcome. Oh, there! Oh, thank the gods! I thought I didn't ever catch up to you. Oh, Phyllis, what are you doing here? Making good at my debt to you. I appreciate the effort, my friend, but you shouldn't have made it. I've gotten by without the gold you lost. Seriously! Dude! But I did lose it, and that haunts me, Ignis. It haunts me. See you repaid, I swear it. And today is the first step on the path that will see what is rightfully yours return. If you've got their gold, stop yammering and hand it over. Well, I put the word out I was looking for gold in a fairly large quantity of it, but actual coins are hard to come by. An artisan named Foxley did have this. Is one. that... Is that a bust of the hero cast in gold? Well, it's gold, right? And it lost a fair amount of your gold, so I thought this would, you know, go some way towards making up for that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna, like, consider this... He's gonna keep doing it! It is good to be on the road again, Minsk. Thou, I, and our friend. And Boo! None of this would be possible without him! I... I yes, got... Of course. How could I have forgotten Boo? It is like old times <laughs> again. Action! Adventure! Smashing evil! If there be danger about... Boo and I will protect you! I have no doubt of it, and I shall try to steal thee rightly in return. I, I just got a trophy titled, It's Heavy. Uh, we only have 20 minutes left before I stop, but I'm gonna stop here. Cause that's a good place to stop, just like, here. It's just like, here, have this bust of yourself made of gold. <laughs> uh, I'll see you tomorrow when I stream Doom. <laughs>